interpretation. Now the fate of 23 grade 6 learners in Moiben sub-county, that's in Wasingishu County, remains unknown after it emerged that they had written a fake Kenya primary school education assessment examination in the just concluded exercise. NTV's Masharia Mbugwa reports that learners at Silver Bells Academy, a private institution in the sprawling Kimumu estate on the outskirts of Eldoret City, were allegedly issued with photocopies of last year's Kapsaya assessment papers. Confusion and disappointment was evident on the faces of shocked parents who had turned up at the school compound after news spread that their children might have written a fake national examination. Diana Yesiro says she was alarmed on Monday after her child returned home and reported that they had not done any assessment. Upon inquiry, the school management claimed that they had failed to undertake the tests due to misplacement of the examination materials. And I had information from a friend that aliniambia mtiani ilikuwa mzuri. Nikauliza mtoto ni wewe ukufanya peke yako mama mzako ameniambia mtiani ilikuwa nzuri. Akaniambia mama tuliambiwa tukiuliza tuseme mtiani ilikuwa nzuri. Akaniambia awa kufanya mtiani ilichelewa but tomorrow tutafanya. Nikamuliza mbona ati mtiani ilikolektiwa na director of the national exam. Haji sasa ati imeenda mpaka Moiben from my Naptit police station. To calm the building tension the directors of the private school are said to have photocopied the 2023 assessment papers, edited the letterheads to 2024, and made the learners to undertake the exam after postponing the process on Monday. My worry was, Mbona Silver Bells wafanya mitiani nne in one day. Another thing, Jana Gioni tena, mtutanga anambia mamu tumefanya hadi PHE, of which PHE was to be today on Wednesday. How come Silver Bells inafanya on a Tuesday? The suspicious parents went ahead to alert the police and a team from the Ministry of Education, the Kenya National Examination Council, and the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, who stoned the school today morning. We have confirmed the exam is not in June. They have been doing their own exam which has already been taken by the security team for further investigation. Kwa ojiwaji kwa gundua kuwa hawa toto walikuwa kifanya mtiani ambayo si mtiani ya kawaida. Walikuwa kifanya mtiani ambazo zimezina wanakana kwa zimepigwa fotokopi alafu wanapewa watoto wafanyi za mtiani. It has emerged that the school is not formally registered with the Ministry of Education Neither are the learners listed to sit for the assessment to enable them progress to grade 7 next year. Actually, we have learned that the school was closed 2019. When there was a multi in 2019, there was a mop-up to close all and a suitable learning institution. It does not even reflect. It is a kind of a family house. Parents are now expressing their fears that their children might be forced to repeat the grade, which will impact negatively on their morale even as they appeal to the ministry and NEC to help accord their children another chance to sit for the national examination. Kama ni shule iregestiwe na kama ni fine ipigwe, kama ni yo penalize, wapigwe yo penalize, na waone vile watasaidia watoto yetu. Kwa sababu hiyo watoto yetu wakisema warudie, ni shida. So watu saidia tumelipa fees, fees haiwezi rudi. Our total what I say, Dika Haja, come our total up grade three, our Jafanya exam, what grade six or Jafanya exam, Sasa to Neleke or Happy. Kipsea marks the last examination at the end of the primary school cycle under the competency based curriculum and accounts for 40% of the total tests. Two directors of the institution have been arrested over the examination irregularity. We are going to ensure that this center is. Permanently closed. As curtains fall on this year's Kipsea examinations, NEC officials say they will depend on police investigations report to determine the fate of this school and their 23 candidates. Mashari Ambogua, NTV Eldoret. What an absolute shamble. And from one to another.